Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a set of Minecraft shaders. I am running the latest release of Minecraft, which is Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1. And this shader pack is called U Shader, and it's a really cool shader pack. I would highly recommend that you guys do give this one a go. It does offer some really nice and unique color changing effects in the options. As you guys can see, my game does look slightly more vibrant and more saturated compared to the normal vanilla Minecraft game. And this is only possible thanks to the creator of the theme giving us the option to change the saturation, contrast, and the vibrance in the option settings for the game. Now, I would highly recommend that you install these shaders with Optifine for version 1.17.1, only because with Iris shaders, you can't change the settings for shaders. Unfortunately, we don't have that option yet. So if you do want to change the colors for this shader pack, I would highly recommend that you change it using Optifine. So if I was to go into my options, and then if I go to video settings, click on shaders, and if I click on shader options, I can then look at the shader options. As you guys can see, I've set the profile to ultra here. Obviously you can go low, medium, high, and then ultra. If we click on post, and then if we go to the color grading, now this is slightly unique to all the other shader packs which I've seen before. Normally the color options are hidden somewhere and it's quite difficult to find the color options in shader packs, but in this shader pack, it's quite easy. You just go to post and then color grading. And as you guys can see, I've turned on color grading and I've put the vibrance to 1.3 and saturation to 1.3. So if you guys want this kind of effect, which I've got going on here, then you could give this a go. You can also change all these other things in the color grading as well to whatever suits your needs. And as you guys can see, everything looks so amazing. I do like this uh, color effect that's happening here and this color palette. If we have a look at the clouds, you can see they are, do have that realistic type cloud look there. Everything looks so nice as well. I do like this sort of type of cloud as well. It's quite realistic and we do have the moving clouds as well. I'm gonna go into a different world now so I can show you the water effects as well. So this was the how to build map. I'm gonna go into a regular world just so we can have a look at the water effect as well. So as you guys can see, it's quite vibrant and it does look quite nice. So let's have a look at the water. So as you guys can see, we do have some nice reflections there coming off the water as well. The creator of this theme, RRE36, did mention that this was actually based off the Seuss shaders, which was one of the older legacy type shaders. As you guys can see, it has some really nice blue colored water there as well. Let's check out the underwater, look at that. We've got the sun's rays coming in as well. We've got the nice rounded sun and the underwater graphics do look nice as well. I do like the color scheme for this. And as I mentioned before, I do like the color scheme used on the grass blocks as well, as you guys can see there. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna show you how to download this shader, how to download and install the U shader pack file. And also I'm gonna show you guys how to download and install Optifine for version 1.17.1 and get this shader pack up and running. All right, so the first thing we need to do is make sure that we've got Java installed because that's really important because we do need Java to get the Optifine installer to work properly. So if you open up your internet browser and just type in Java JDK 16, and don't worry, I will leave a link in the description below so you can just click on the links that I'm gonna show you guys today. And if we go to this website, which is the oracle.com website, Scroll down and because I'm on a Windows based machine, I'm going to download the Windows X64 installer and then click on this file and I'm going to start the download now. So I'm going to return back once this download is finished. All right. So as you guys can see, the Java JDK version 16.0.2 has finished downloading. So let's close this down. Let's close down this tab. Next thing we're going to download is Optifine and we're going to download the latest Optifine version for Minecraft release version 1.17.1. So in your search bar, just type in Minecraft Optifine and just go to the first link, which is the main website, optifine.net. And then just wait for that to load up. Click on downloads. Now, if you go to the Minecraft version 1.17.1 section, if we click on the preview version, we can see that they do have a preview version, which is the pre-32 release of Optifine. And it was released a few days ago, the 24th of July. And if we click on the change log, we can see that at the moment it's not compatible with Forge, but they have fixed a lot of things with the shaders as well. So let's go back and click on the mirror link here and get the download started for Optifine preview version 3.32. All right, so as you guys can see, it has finished the download for the preview version of Optifine version 3.32. 
I'm going to close this down. I'm going to now download the U shader pack file for Minecraft Java edition. So in your search bar, just type in RRE36 and then type in U shader. Hopefully that should bring up the main website for the author. And if we go to this website, which is rre36.com slash shader, and we need to go to this website and then you can click on the download section here, which will open up a CurseForge link and then we can download this file. So let's go ahead and start the download. All right, so as you guys can see, it has finished downloading uShader as well, version 1.1. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put all these files on my desktop and I'm gonna show you guys how to start the installation and how to set up the shaders for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1. All right, so as you guys can see, I've placed all of the files on my desktop. And the first file I'm going to actually start installing is the Java JDK version 16.0.2. So I'm just going to double click on the file. As you guys can see, I'm now getting a message that says, this software has already been installed on your computer. Would you like to reinstall it? I'm going to select yes, just so I can show you guys what the process looks like. I'm going to click on next for all of these because it's going to be the default directory and just wait for that to finish. All right, so that is a quick installation. And as you guys can see, it now says, Java has successfully been installed. So let's close this down. Let's move this out of the way. Now we can actually go ahead and install Optifine. So I'm going to right click on this file, hover over where it says open with, and then as you guys can now see, it says Java platform SE binary. And it's given me that message because I did successfully install Java prior to this. So I'm going to click on this and it should open the installer. So there we go. As you guys can see, it now says Optifine installer, and I can just click on install and it's a quick process and it should install it for me. And as you guys can see, it says Optifine is successfully installed. I'm gonna click on OK and that's done. Let's move this out of the way. Now let's open up the Minecraft launcher. All right, so as you guys can see at the bottom lower left corner here, in the drop down, it does show Optifine as an installation as well. And if I click on the installations tab here, you can see Optifine is showing for version 1.17.1 and this is the pre-32 version of Optifine. Now we need to put the shader pack file into the shader packs folder. So if we just hover over any of these two lines here and click the folder icon and just make that smaller. And as you guys can see in the main Minecraft directory, which had opened up after clicking on the folder icon, we do have this folder here that says shader packs. So if you guys don't have this folder, which says shader packs, right click anywhere, click on you, and then click on folder and then rename it to shader packs. All right, so let's go into the shader packs folder and I'm going to place the U shader version 1.1 zip file into the shader packs folder. There we go. It should look something like this where the U shader zip file is inside the shader packs folder inside the dot Minecraft directory. So let's close this down. We can now go back into the Minecraft launcher and now you've got two options. You can either launch Optifine by making sure it's selected in the drop down and hitting play over here or we can go to installations and click on play over here next to Optifine. So let's go ahead and do that and wait for the game to load up. All right, so as you guys can see, it's now loaded us into the game. All right, so now we're gonna click on options, go to video settings, and you should see a button here that says shaders, which shows us that we do have Optifine installed. And as you guys can see, it's currently set to off. So I'm gonna click on U shaders over here. And there we go. So I'm gonna click on done and then click on done again. And now I'm, I can actually go into a game. I'm going to create a new world and let's go for survival, normal difficulty, create a new world. Just wait for that to load up. All right, there we go. So as you guys can see, it has loaded us into the game. And now it, it is looking slightly different to before because I haven't actually changed the color grading options there. But we can see that we've got some nice realistic skies there and some nice realistic water effects and reflections there, as well as the irregular shadows as well as we would expect from a high quality grade shader pack. And if we go into the options again and go to video settings, shaders, click on shader options. I'm going to go to post, I'm going to go to color grading and I'm going to change the color grading option to on, change vibrance to 1.3 and then saturation to 1.3 as well. Click on done and it should give us that nice saturated color as well that we saw earlier. So I really do like this effect that it gives us also going to increase the render distance to 10 chunks as well. There we go. So as you guys can see, this shader pack is quite unique as it gives us a really easy access to change the colors in this. And it does have all of the other nice qualities that we would expect from a nice top quality shader pack. So if you guys haven't given this a go, definitely download U Shader 
for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1. And I'll, I will leave a link in the description for all of the downloads I've shown you today. Hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about how to install shaders in Minecraft, how to install Optifine and how to download Optifine for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17.1, do leave them in the comment section below. And do let me know your thoughts about the shader, what do you guys think about it, and what do you guys think about this color grading options as well. And also please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.